We were already two months into the pandemic and I kind of started feeling a little bit lonely in my studio. So I called Aurora and that's how Aurora called Alina and the three of us got together. I think two weeks into when we had met each other, we started planning our first exhibit and that was at Cap Gallery. The exhibit was to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the women's right to vote. We started to play with the idea of the names. Uh, we wanted it to be sort of like the, the the link was fibers and uh, Evelyn and myself, we had been part of sort of like a collective before and we wanted to just open it up to the bigger, um, you know, Miami community. Although we have some international members as well. During the pandemic, as Evelyn mentioned, we started to reach out to people. I think Evelyn started to call some people and the first meeting to our surprise, we had like 40 people on the Zoom. Uh, meeting and we hang up and we said we cannot believe the outcome that we had um, and then from there it's like it sort of like became a reality. creating this community is to um, educate and advance uh, through fiber art. In other words, we want to give a chance to people to experience working with their hands. Uh, we want to, um, for artists to sort of like get out of their comfort zone and um, try these a range of mediums. We all have um, an immediate contact with um, textiles since we're born. So I think when, when you create this relationship to fibers, everyone has a story to tell. And that opens up um, a lot of conversations and a lot of dialogues amongst the, the pieces. We formed in July 2020, and in one year and three months, we went from a trio to over 100 members. And, um, that shows you the, the unity that we have, uh, how we get along as, as, a, as a unit. So FAMA was really formed uh, as to educate, not only artists, but the, the community about fiber arts and how important fiber arts, traditional textiles and contemporary art to our society. So um, we started first with, by doing workshops with teachers, but now all artists started coming in and now we have uh, our workshops are made up of not only artists, but people from the community, which is what we want to do. We want to bring them in and have them understand the importance of textile and the importance of, the importance of contemporary artists in Miami and worldwide. Fiber art, as for what it is, it's always been undermined. It's always been taken uh, or considered something lesser when it comes to to the institutions and the art world. So one of the things that we're also, um, as for our mission, we're also trying to promote, it's the sort of like the sub subversive message that fiber art um, could hold in terms of um, creating something with thread that could tell a story, that could create a narrative, that could send a message. We are very thankful with SOFA, the Society of the Four Arts, for having given us 
this opportunity to show it for our first, this is our first show in a, in a museum that we already got a, two prizes from the ULAID a, a organization, the ELIS, and that is only bringing us forward in a way that we had never dreamt before. And of course, the Camp Gallery also for for also exhibiting, hosting us, yes, and opening up that door. Um, we're bearing on this the third um, annual with uh, the concept of women pulling at the thread of social discourse. We always look for partners or institutions that um, are faithful to sort of like the the nature of. Um, creating a narrative um, to give a chance to to present um, a message that's not only the, the embroidery or the beautiful crafted um, embroidered technique but that's um, sort of like presented from a historical point of view to more um, social uh, contemporary issues as well.